Hey guys, Deb here with Art and Grace. Come on in, say hi to me. It is happy 45. <laughs> so I usually say it's happy hour with Art and Grace, but we have 45 minutes today together. So pop in here and we'll get started pretty quick. I'm being shared over into the Craft Around the Clock group, and that's why I'm saying we have 45 minutes. I am filling in for our sweet Sonia with Sonia's She Shed Sensations. That's a tongue twister. So many of you guys probably saw her on the schedule. So sorry to disappoint you, but she um, is tied up. Her father passed away, if you had not heard yet, last night, I believe it was yesterday. And so we uh, need to remember her in prayer and some of us will be filling in, helping out all the things. So you guys come on in and say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. There we go, could not get it to pull up. Hello, Deb. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Veronica. Hello, Valerie. Hi, Tracy. How are you this morning or this afternoon? Hi, Dina. How are you? Glad to see you guys popping in. So I am going to show you a sweet angel we can paint on wood rounds. This is a really awesome size. I'm going to make an ornament with it and I will give you the sneak peek because it turns out really pretty. And I'm going to show you how simple this is, guys. There is not one of you who cannot paint this. So stick with me. I'm going to show you step by step. Hi, Brooke. I thought about you this morning. Glad to see you here. Hi, Donna. Glad you guys are popping in. Hello, Emma. Happy 45. <laughs> so now on my calendar, I either have happy hour or happy 45. So if it's 45, then I'm probably in craft around the clock that day. <laughs> Glad to have you guys here. If you're not a member of Craft Around the Clock, it's a free group that has crafters all day, 24 seven, pretty much. Um, except, you know, there are times at night, you know, during the night, but you can always watch replays. So I know Cheryl, those of us who've lost our parents, oh, it's just the hardest thing. And um, even though, you know, we see them aging, we, and her father had Alzheimer's like my mother did, so you, you want them to not have to suffer, but the hurt is no easier. You know, even you, you're happy that they're out of pain, but the hurt is still so strong. So thank you guys for praying for her and just remembering her. Okay, guys, we're going to get started. I'm going to put down a coat of this multi-purpose solution. So many of you guys asked me about this because I do use it on almost all of my wood pieces. It gives you a really good base. Um, to seal your wood so that your paint doesn't just soak down into the wood. So I have already given this a, a light sanding. And so now I'm just going to, and I didn't wipe it off very good evidently. Just going to rub this sealer down. I'm kind of push it down into the grain of the wood. And then we're going to dry it. Typically I'll do a bunch of these, you know, and let them sit and dry. But for time's sake, we will dry it with our heat gun. And I may need to kind of, let me just take a look at this. Yeah, I sand, I gave it a light sand and probably didn't, didn't do good on getting, I know what I did. I rubbed it on my clothes. That's what I did to get that sand off. So now I see little fibers, but it'll be okay. So you guys just get that sealer worked into your wood and that will uh, keep your paint from just soaking into the wood. And typically I'll do one coat this way, turn it and then do the other coat the other way. And um, that just gives it a great base. If you don't have this sealer or you don't want to go buy the sealer, you can use like chalk paint or something. Put a good coat of that or two light coats of that. And that helps. Hello, Cheryl. Yes, it's going to be so pretty guys. Remember you can do these in any color. So if you have, you want to give these as a gift, you can do a pink for someone who's going through breast cancer or has maybe, you know, won or just finished their treatments. You can do Christmas colors and give them as Christmas gifts to coworkers or family members. Um, you could do, you know, any colors you want. I just did, where did that thing go? I did a, oh, there it is. This is an angel I did the other day, and I call it Harvest Angel, so it's just got all of our fall colors. So you can do that with these, you know, paint them fall colors and set them at the place settings for Thanksgiving. And then they've got their first little ornament, or, you know, just, there's no limit. Hello, Cindy. Hi, Rosie. Glad to see you live, my friend. Hello, Gloria. Oh, my goodness. Glad to see you live, too. You're always a replayer lately. 
Hi, Christy. Oh, Christy, glad to see you today. How are you this, this afternoon? I keep saying this morning because I really haven't talked to anybody besides my husband. Um, the sealer, where did it go? Is Deco Art Multi Purpose Sealer. I just think it's fantastic. I use it on all of my wood. And is it turned around? Yes, okay, we're good. Um, I get it at Michael's usually, or you can order it from Amazon or Deco Art, wherever, you're, wherever you get your stuff like that. I'm sure that Hobby Lobby has it too. My wood round, I am selling these guys. So if you need, if you get this or you see this tutorial and you like it, then just send me a message that you want one because I did not have time to get them listed. And that's what I did with my angels. So the other day, I made these little angels and we, I kind of gave, not a challenge, but I just said I think it would be great for anyone who knows the Becks and wants to participate to make one. These are so inexpensive to make. If you're a crafter, you've already got the ribbon and all of that. These are little wood, wood wings that I'm now selling, or you can get them a million places. So my friend cuts them and, and I think she's charging $3. It's a really great price uh, because I told her what we're doing with them. Or you can order the kit from me and I, I only have a few left and it's only because a few people have never messaged me their address and zip code and all that. So if you're wanting a kit, I can send it to you. It's the wood wings, the ribbon, and the little bead is in here. So it's everything you need besides the paint. You'll just paint them however you want to. These I painted with texture. So I just got a thick bodied paint and gave it some texture, but you can do them just plain. If you don't want to order a kit or don't want to mess with wood, use whatever you have. This is just poster board that you can use and put. I would put two together so it's sturdy easy easy peasy okay so let's get this going so for my base coat I'm going to use my uh, oyster pearl metallic paint by deco art you guys have seen me use this a million times love it and I had never thought of it as a base coat before usually I put this on top of things because it's so so pretty and it just looks so good on top of any color but I wanted, I, I just went back and forth. I wanted the wood to show, but then I was like wanting a, a color. And then when I got to thinking, I was like, I wonder how that would look on top of my wood. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to put it right on top of this wood. Hello, Christy. Glad to see you. And how's the weather in Illinois? You guys let me know. It's been raining here today in Texas and we've needed the rain. So not going to complain. We're happy about it. You guys let me know what it's like where you are. My dog, boy, she she goes for a walk every day, and she did not care. It was like, we're going anyway. My husband takes her. My back is not good enough to really deal with her. She can be a handful, especially if she sees another dog or something. So anyway, um, she was pulling him down the street. Rain, rain, doesn't matter little windy yeah it was really windy here yesterday all that stuff is blowing in isn't it okay so guys i don't know if you can see this this is a nice large size but you can also use those little wood rounds and i use those a lot um this is a five inch circle i bet you dina designs by dina probably has wood circles but if you want a kit for me i will have um everything you need to make this. So you'll get the wood, the little to the beads, the jute and the paint. Okay. That way you really don't have to go buy anything because even though you won't have the sealer, um, you can do it without the sealer or you can use a base coat if you want, or you can order that sealer. I don't have enough to give out to everybody or I would just include it for you, but I just don't. And so anyway, so look at that shimmer. Isn't that pretty? So I'm going to dry this. Can y'all see? Oh my goodness. I hope y'all have been able to see. I kind of trust that somebody's going to holler at me. You might have been 77, Luana. That's kind of nice. I like 77. Hi, Anna. Glad to see you today. Tornado Sheila. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh man, we hate that. Hate tornadoes. 
84 Veronica and sunny see I like that so a lot of people think that's too hot but not for me I love 84 and sunny gloomy it's gloomy here too Cheryl you've got a migraine I always get them when the weather's like this I don't have one and I don't even have a headache thankfully so we need to pray for Cheryl because that is the most miserable feeling because you really can kind of just be stopped in your tracks and have to lay down and that's no fun when you got business you know Ooh. Oh, how funny, Becca. <laughs> hey, we all do it. We all talk to the camera. That's why That's why I like having the camera, having me looking at you. Because I'm telling you, I feel like I'm talking to you when I'm doing this. And so, you know, I could have the camera down on my desk, which I do sometimes. I do that for paint parties so you can see better. But then I feel like I can't talk to you. Like I'm not, it's just a mental thing that it helps me to look up and know that you're right there on that other side of the camera. Thank you for sprinkling, Cindy. You guys. I just appreciate you. Facebook, uh, boy, I sent my stats <laughs> to Dina the other day going, I don't know if I can do this. I was just, just literally having thoughts of quitting. And I just, I don't ever want to feel that way. But it was just overwhelmed because, oh man, it's hard. Like I'll post, I'll make a post and it's crickets. You guys either don't like the post or you don't see the post. And I'm assuming you don't see it. So I've just been frustrated with Facebook. So thank you guys for doing all the things. You're amazing. And that, that lifts my spirits to see that you're sprinkling and all that. Thank you, Cheryl. And some of you can't. That's okay. Crazy Mom Creations. What a cute page. I love that. So what kind of things do you do, Crazy Mom? Thank you, Cynthia. I never saw if you answered me. How are you feeling today? And I'm assuming Jerry's still good because um, you said he was asymptomatic last I heard. Windy today, waiting on the rain. Yeah. I know, Donna. I won't. I won't. This is, this is a co-business with God. It really, really is. So I will not. I will not. He has me here for a reason, and I have just fallen in love with you guys, and many of us have a relationship regardless of painting or any, you know, like, I just, I couldn't. Okay let's think here so i did cut out a little wing pattern so let me show you if you guys missed you know some of my other tutorials so when i did these and showed you this is just a simple simple but this is the one that that i think is the prettiest i did give you guys the tracer for these wings and this is it you know it's got two sizes it's got this and this so i just cut out one of the wings and then I adjusted it to the size I needed. So I kind of took the large size and I just, you know, made it a little smaller is all I did. I cut it out and made it a little smaller. So go get these if you have trouble drawing symmetrically like I do. Like one wing will be perfect and then the other side will not. So it's no big deal to use a tracer. Just go grab this. It's on my website and it's free. You don't have to give me your email or anything. Sometimes I do ask for that, but I think, you know, so many of you are going to send these to the Becks, which I, it just makes my heart happy to know that they're going to get these from all across the country, I hope. And um, let me know if you're doing it. And so I, I didn't want to even try to you know gain an email i just want to give it to you you guys go do it uh, nancy art grace paint is my website and it should be pinned right below and you can just go on there and you'll see just maybe scroll down a little ways and you will see the little picture of the angel and it'll say if you want the free tracer click here and it's automatic it will go right download right for you oh good thank you angie thank you deb Hi, Lisa. Oh, thanks, Angie. Well, I'm glad you're here today. Glad you're here today. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of, you know, figure out where I want my angel in the center. I'm going to go ahead and draw her little face. So just kind of with a piece of chalk, I'm just kind of getting an oval is all I'm doing. Just an oval. Simple, simple. And then I'm going to kind of line that up to that face and figure how I want it. And I think I might want them to come out a little bit. So that's good. Let me actually use a pencil so you, maybe you guys can see. 
and you may not I don't know but I'm just gonna trace around my wings with my pencil and you guys you know if you are a good drawer then you don't have to use a tracer just draw and sometimes I can but I don't take chances usually when I'm live because sometimes you know like I said one's usually good and one's usually wonky I don't think they have to be too perfect though I think when you give a gift that you've hand painted people love it they don't care it's you know it's so nice when you think enough of someone to send them something that that they really don't care they're just happy that you thought of them if I can't see this trace then I know you guys can't I'm gonna kind of come back and do it a little darker we're gonna go over it with our paint so won't matter and then what I'm gonna do is just kind of draw a little dress kind of coming down so can y'all see that I don't know if you can but anyway that's all you do and we'll just get our colors out now I'm gonna show you how to use a little bit of this um, texture paint not texture paint but a uh, premium paint so I always use student grade paints because they're so inexpensive everybody can get them you know they're always at any store even Dollar Tree Walmart any hobby store but sometimes if you want to do something just a little bit nicer you can use the premium paints which will give you this texture do you see that see that texture so you can even mix and so I'll probably I kind of got out so much of this other paint I should probably just use that I accidentally poured too much of the Cheryl that makes me so happy I'm so glad you have I love knowing that every now and then y'all will tell me something and I'm just like oh good so it's not for nothing people are learning and doing and that makes me happy because it's so relaxing right okay so let me go ahead and get our first layer of wings on here I've got my premium paint and I've got my regular paint I'm just gonna mix these two all it does is kind of cut down the cost a little because my premium paint I could use all of it but I'm just mixing the two and I'm just going right on top of what we have here and just working this all around for her wings and like I said I can barely see the, the line myself so it doesn't have to be perfect but this gives you a thicker paint which I think is kind of nice for for our wings to look a little thicker and I probably should switch to a smaller brush for the little small areas but I'm not I'm just gonna kind of try to be careful let me show you see so you can see it's a little thicker and since I mixed it with the other paint it's not as thick as it would be but just wanted something just a little thicker and I am going to add a uh, diamond dust so it really doesn't have to be too thick wow I can't tell if I did these wings right you see what I mean it's really hard to get the wings kind of symmetrical so even with my tracer I'm not sure I did it but we're gonna play with them we can always kind of tweak them as we go so there's there's that just you your your five-year-old can do this <laughs> hello guys come on in my name is Deb with Art and Grace if you are new to me hello I'm glad you're here they already opened some and have decided to do an angel tree good guys hi Mickey hi Zena glad you're here they got some angels today that's fantastic you guys are so fast well I hope that they get some that will be meaningful maybe one of you that makes them will choose colors that are special or just a look sometimes you think oh Ashley would have loved this one you know it just looks like her so yeah it's not too late 
you can you can do them watch my tutorial if you've never made a tassel angel they're simple so watch a tutorial to do this it's so easy um, super super easy and then on my page a little ways back you'll see the post where I posted about the wings and if you want some just let me know um, as long as I have them I'm happy to share and then uh, you can always buy them from my friend who offered to do them very inexpensively and other people as well will have them you know and now I'm just taking what's on my palette and kind of working it in and just kind of giving it kind of you know the fluffy look that we think of when we think of angel wings and that's why I wanted the texture paint or the thicker paint Now let's do her face and her dress. Thank you, Patty. Hi, Arla. Oh, Arla, I hope you're feeling okay. I saw that you said that, um, that you're on the mend. And I know your knee was hurting last I read, so tell me, is it better? I have definitely been praying for you and hadn't seen an update in a few days, so let me know. Hi, Annette. Glad you are here. I'm glad everybody's taking a little break with me at this time. This is a good time of the day for, you know. So any colors you can do your face. I'm going to put out just a little pink, any pink. So this is just kind of a mauve color. I'm just going to put a little of that on my palette. I've got my white and I'm going to put out a little. You can use brown and mix it with white. I actually have this color here called Fawn. And that's a great face color. So I'm going to take that Fawn and take some white and mix and then add a little pink some people add yellow you know you just kind of get the face color that you like if you want to match your own skin color just add either darker or lighter and just kind of get a face color that I like so it's tan with a little pink and come in here and just do a round oval And that is all she needs for the face. And I also do that pretty thick. So just kind of put, I put a thick coat. And then just let it sit to dry. Yeah, oh, you did good. Denise, I thought I was going to do laundry this morning and I still haven't got it done. I keep doing everything else. Good, Zena. Well, don't look. Just listen. <laughs> Good time to break. You can, Debbie. You can. I got these on Amazon. You can get them everywhere. They're they're all. You see these wood rounds everywhere. Okay, let's do a blue. Want to show y'all? You know, just an easy way to get a pretty blue. I'm gonna put down a little of this darker color blue. You don't need very much. I probably got way too much. This is Victorian blue. And then I'm putting out my winter blue. You guys have seen me use this. I love using this in the winter or, you know, Christmas, whenever. It's just a kind of a grayish blue that's really pretty. It's not like Bahama blue, which is real summery to me. And then we'll use our white. So I was going to tell you guys to keep your brushes that are old and kind of not doing so hot. So look at this one. This used to be a nice round brush, but you can see it's like fuzzy on the end. So keep that brush because it's perfect for this. Let me see. I think I had another one. This is another kind of good one, um, but see how it's just kind of felt fluffy on the end. Those are great for this because we're going to mix and kind of put it on rough is, I don't know, a better way to say it. So I'm going to go in and get lots of white on the brush and then I'm going to pop it into that dark blue so now I've got both and I can tell that's going to be a lot of blue but we'll go ahead and do it and we can add some more white and just going to start up here at the top and work my way down same thing I'm going to keep doing that dipping in the white and then the blue so each time I'm doing the same thing white and then blue and it's going to give us a pretty mixture. And I don't want to keep overworking it, so I'm just kind of going down and down. 
this is just our first coat so we'll do more but see that gives you a pretty kind of mixed looking color no apologies for being late Lori oh I'm so glad I'm glad that you guys are kind of you know enjoying and, and hopefully getting something out of it hello Christina is it am I right about the name I'm trying so hard to learn you guys names because y'all are pretty new to me but I'm glad you're here let me know if I got your name right oh okay you like that size yeah I like it too it's really nice and big this will be really pretty on a tree but also I think uh, I do and I think a lot of people like to hang things like this you know in their little bathroom where they have a little space or in their office just right by the light switch or sizes like this are great anywhere so it's not just for a Christmas tree yes exactly Christy kind of flowy to have that so that's just our first coat we'll do another one thank you Cynthia oh good I got it right <laughs> I'm terrible with names but I'm trying hard it's it's I don't know I just have a bad memory okay um we can kind of you know let's just dry it a little bit i really it really will do better if i dry it and then go back over it with another color acrylic paint is great to layer so if you do a first coat and you don't love it that's okay dry it and keep going keep going there's no accidents if you have an accident remember uh, what's his name Bob Ross you know it's a happy accident half the time it's a good thing and what I've learned you know you just keep on going and it usually turns out fantastic so I did the white and now I'm doing that winter blue which is a lighter blue and I'm gonna do the same thing just kind of coming back over it with my flowy little marks and I know that covered a lot of our dark so I'm going to go back into that dark. Now here's why I like these bristles. I hope y'all can see. But you can just get some of that dark on. I don't know if y'all can see that. But on the tips of those bristles. And come right back over. And look how pretty. So I'm just kind of barely touching down on the tips. So I've got that light blue. And now I'm putting in some of that darker with it. I kind of get quiet when I'm concentrating. I'm trying not to get too much of the dark on here and just, just get enough that it puts back in some of that darker color. And, you know, you may want to just do a single color. You may not want it, uh, you know, mixed like mine. You can do any colors. And thank you guys for the thumbs up. The wings. What are you asking about just print out your we oh the wings for the tracer if you're wanting to print those out so I've already obviously cut this other side this is on my website artgracepaint.com and I believe the link is right here pinned so on the front page you just I don't remember how far down not very far I don't think just scroll down a little bit and you should see the picture of this angel and then it's right there it'll say do you want the tracer it's easy it this is easy I try to really make things easy so you guys will try it because I know if you try it you'll love it I, re I really you know the things that we do here on this page um, are to help you guys relax and reduce stress so you I'm not going to show you things that will frustrate you I got a little piece of something in there I'm pretty happy with the dress. I really like the look, so I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to go ahead and do her halo. So what I'm using for her halo is this pen. It's a marker, and it is Pen Touch is the brand, I believe. It says Sakura, S-A-K-U-R-A, Pen Touch, gold. You see that? But I do have this in my Amazon store, so I've got an Amazon storefront. And the way that I think of it in my mind is like you go into the store and if you're looking for art supplies, you go here. If you're looking for craft supplies, you go here. You know, everything's broken down by what you need. 
and you can go into that Amazon store front and look for paint supplies, art supplies, I believe it says, and all my favorite art supplies will be there. So you'll see, you know, all of this and you'll see the paints and everything. So I think I'm going to add another layer of our, um, of our shimmer on here before I do my, I can't talk, before I do my halo because I don't really see enough shimmer. So I'm gonna come in here and add another coat. You can easily just add it, kind of come in between. If I can get done fast, I will um, show you guys how to make that tassel angel for anybody that didn't see the other day. But if I don't have time, go to my YouTube. That's the easiest way to find things, I think. And um, be sure and subscribe. I need to I need to get with it you know you're teaching an old girl this stuff um, like YouTube and TikTok and and I don't know all the things to do but I know I should have a you know a cute little thing that tells you guys be sure and subscribe while you're here hit that button but I'm telling you now if, you, if you're on YouTube go go find me and hit that button all of my videos go there so that if anything ever happens on our favorite platform here we will not it won't be a total loss we'll just hop over there and keep on going so be sure you're following me in all the places um, I'm on Pinterest guys guess what you're the first to know I haven't told anybody except my husband um, I was just approved to have a Pinterest live like a T, I think they called it a, I'm trying to think what they called it. Was it a TV? I don't know. Anyway, it's like doing a live on Pinterest. So when I get my turn, and they gave me a date, I can't remember it off the top of my head, but when I get my turn, I'm going to need y'all there because do you know how awkward it's going to be talking to people on Pinterest who I don't know from Adam? So if I see you guys out there, I'll be okay. Whenever I go live somewhere else, I get really nervous for some reason. But if y'all are in the comments, I'll be like, okay, this is just like Facebook. We're good. My people are here. So I'll let y'all know when. But I'm excited about that. It's always nice to get some new opportunity. Okay. I just felt like that needed a little more. I know. I'm excited, Shelly. I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, I think Kim with... Um, Yesterday's Tomorrow's might be on there. I'm not positive. I've really never watched Pinterest TV or whatever it's called. I think it's called Pinterest TV. Um, so I'm excited. I'll probably start watching it now. Thank you. Well, I get really nervous. <laughs> you guys know that follow me. I get really nervous. I'm not embarrassed to tell you. Um, so I usually am sending out a text going, please watch me. Because if I see the name, if I see y'all's names out there, then I immediately am like, oh, you know, I can do this. Okay, I'll let you know, Denise. Thank you. Awesome. You did, Danette. Have just as, yay. Thank you. It's, it's nothing yet. It's just where I upload my, my Facebook lives, so. Nothing, but it is easier to find videos there than trying to look through Facebook. Man, when you're trying to look for a video on Facebook, it can be, it can be hard. Okay. I think I need to dry a little bit more because I want to show you guys how we can line this. I know. Thank you, Tarita. I appreciate that so much. Christy, it is for me. I had to download a specific app where I can go live on. Um, but I think for you guys, it's just the Pinterest app. And if I remember right, up in the left corner at the top, there's a little TV, which I had never noticed. But if you click on that, you'll be able to watch other people who are upcoming that are live, or you can watch replays of other lives. Oh, Brenda, I'm so glad. Good. Yeah, who said that? Who said that? Yes, Christine. Um, I always say, like, if y'all if y'all are going live and you want support, I mean, send me a message or whatever because I'll be there. 
I don't always get alerts and whatnot, but if I know when you're going on and you want the support, I'll stop what I'm doing and go watch for a while. Okay, so I'm taking a Micron pen and you want your paint to be totally dry before you do this, but I'm just gonna kinda go along the edges and I'm trying to not touch too much of the paint because it's probably not totally dry. And I'm just gonna give it a rough outline. It's not perfect, it's not, you know, meant to be it's just kind of a rough little outline now around her face I usually will kind of try to be careful and not go crazy with it so I take my time a little more around that but if you'll notice if y'all can tell I'm kind of just being rough and kind of squiggly uh, because I think it's kind of a, just a cute look. It's just to give that, to make it pop. See how one side pops over the other? And that this is optional. You don't have to line it. But I'm just kind of giving it a rough outline. So now that's what we have. I need to step on it. We got nine minutes, that went fast. Okay, so let's do our gold halo. And simple, simple, can y'all see? We're just gonna draw kind of an oval right above her head. Kind of look and see if that's somewhat neat. If it's crooked, that's okay. She was a, let's see, honorary woman. That's why it's crooked. So now we've got her little halo, sweet. And then all you need to do is take some jute. And you know, if I couldn't find my jute at first, so I grabbed this. Whatever you have, this is wired, it would work, but I did find my jute, so I'll use that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. Do I want, um, you can use paint so you can have that white paint wet and then pour your diamond dust on since i forgot i'm just going to use mod podge and just grab i try to grab an old brush i have some specifically for this and i'm going to just put some mod podge on her wings and add this diamond dust real fast because that really looks pretty so just brush it on i pretty much cover the whole wings so if you don't want to use the diamond dust or glitter or whatever, that's fine. That's why we painted them pretty and thick. But if you want to, you can go this and do the diamond dust or twinkles is a great option. If you don't like diamond dust, you don't want the mess or the glass, you know, maybe you've got small children or pets and you don't like using diamond dust, then um, just, you know, either leave it plain or use the craft twinkles. These are really, really pretty. And let's see, I don't, oh, there it is, my gold. That would have been a really good choice too. So either way. Forty-five minutes, guys, goes so fast. But isn't it good to kind of hang out together and and take a little break and now you've seen an idea maybe you didn't know we were doing these for the becks and maybe you want to get in on it go for it any kind of angel you do will be appreciated uh, doesn't have to be something i've taught you can do your own thing uh, if you have hymnals maybe make the wings with hymnal pages and just decoupage them on there so whatever you do will be wonderful but look at that now. See, you, so you can see the shimmer of the paint and you can see hopefully the diamond dust. Y'all see it? Yeah, okay. And now let's get this little hanger on. So take your jute, and I usually have more than I'm gonna need. You know, I'd rather have too much. You like it? Oh, good, Dina. Wait, didn't you do an angel the other day? Or am I thinking of somebody? No, I'm thinking of Jennifer. She did that really pretty angel. Um, yeah, I mean, and like I said, Dina, do you have these wood rounds? Um, I'd love for you guys to get them from me, but if you don't, get them from Dina. <laughs> I don't sell them um, individually. I'm selling them in the kit, you know, so that you get 
the diamond dust, you get the paint, all the colors we used. The only thing I can't give you is the pen, but you can use gold paint for that, of course. Okay, so let's do our, let me think how I did this one. So I had a knot up here. So I've got my jute just doubled over. I'm gonna make a knot. We are good, we got five minutes, I can calm down. Thank you guys, Oh, thank you, appreciate it. So got a little knot to hang on the tree and then we're gonna put our beads on. These have a nice big hole, so no problem getting this through there. And then I'm gonna do another knot right here at the base of this. And depending on your jute, this isn't the biggest. Yeah, it's good. So that will work. Um, I started to say, if your jute is really thin, you might have to do a double knot here, but this is fine. It worked just fine. And then I'm just gonna put this through and tie right here. Let's see, actually I wanna go the other way. So I didn't kind of tie it in the back. Back or top is what I'll do. And um, what else was I gonna tell you? I thought of something just as I was doing this and then forgot what I was gonna say. Just making a regular knot back here in the back and cut off the extra. And there you go. So now you've got a really sweet little angel ornament or, you know, I mean, it's a large ornament, so it can go on a tree, but it can also just hang wherever somebody wants to hang it as a sweet remembrance. You could write something across here, maybe write a Bible verse, you know, going around it or on the back or just a sweet note if you want to. It's all options. Again, you can do anything with the wings, any colors, any papers that you want to decoupage or napkin. I'm glad y'all like it. Thank you. Let me see if we have time to show you. Uh, we probably don't, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. So you will paint your wings and get those how you want them. So here's a set that I did. I haven't finished them because I need to do the back. I always paint both sides, but let's just say we're going to do that. And then I'm going to hold all of these in the middle. So I'm just gonna roughly do this. It's not gonna be perfect because I'm just doing this to show you guys real fast. But we're gonna hold it like this. Kind of just double everything over. And then take a piece of jute and tie it like a tassel. Let me, hold up. Hold please, let me put this through here first. I'll tell you. I'm getting ahead of myself trying to hurry, but you'll need to tie this across the top. That's what it's gonna, you know, hang on. And you're gonna put that through your bead. But, so now we've got our, you know, things doubled and that's where you come in and tie to make a tassel. Oh, hurry, hurry. Okay, I'm just kind of pulling these. And then I don't do it too, too tight, but you know, and then tie that and I'll just cut this off or you can do them longer and have them just trail down. But now we've got our little tassel. I'm gonna put the bead on. And this bead, of course, because we're pressed for time, needs to be, you know, it's got some of that wood in the middle and needs to be kind of reamed out a little bit with something sharp or just use what you have, whatever you have around. Okay. Oh, I'm glad, hi, Cindy Lou, glad to see you. I'm glad you like it. Okay, so then we've got something to hang it with, and then all you need to do, you can do it a couple of ways, but I'm just gluing 
to the wings. So that's all I have done on this other is glue it to the wings. Then I, add, I did add hair on mine. Oh, that. So my knot was a little bit, that's all you do. Simple, simple, but it kind of makes it nicer to have these wood wings. And on this one, I did take jute and I just, you know, glued it down, gave her a little halo, just glued it in. So it's just glued to the top of her head. That's all the time I have guys, but there's a few ideas. Let me know how I can help you. Message me with your email address if you're interested in a kit. I'll help you out, okay? Guys, have a great day. Please go up to the link up in the description and go see the next creator on Craft Round the Clock, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.